Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term Google A to A and you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is? Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Google Agent to Agent Protocol, or A to A, is a new way for AI agents to talk and work with each other. It's meant to make sure different agents, even if they're built by different companies, can work together smoothly and share tasks. But what if A to A is more than just a technology standard? What if it's the key to finally making AI assistants act like a real team working on tasks together, even if these agents come from different teams, companies, or vendors? So what's the problem that A to A is trying to solve? Well, right now, most AI tools work alone. A chat bot might be able to check the weather, but it can't easily talk to your calendar or email unless a software developer explicitly connects everything up manually. This setup doesn't scale well and makes building useful AI systems complicated and fragile. So how does A to A attempt to solve this problem? A to A fixes this by giving agents a common way to describe what they can do and how to ask each other for help. It's kind of like giving every agent a resume and a phone number so they can find each other and work together without custom code. So how does this work technically? Well, A to A uses simple structured messages, usually in JSON, for communication. Each agent shares what tasks it can handle, what kind of information it needs, and what it gives back to other agents asking for its services. This setup makes it much easier to plug agents into a larger system that controls the flow of work. So some of you may be wondering how A to A compares to MCP or Model Context Protocol. I did a video on MCP a few weeks ago. Feel free to check this out if you want to go deeper into this topic. But back to the comparison, you might be thinking that A to A is a direct competitor to Anthropic's MCP protocol. But if you look a little deeper, you'll see that MCP is more focused on agent integrations with LLMs and external tools. Examples of tools could be like databases or external APIs. Alternatively, A to A is more focused on agent-to-agent -agent communication. It lets agents work as equals, handing off tasks, enabling them to work side by side. When you look at MCP's and ATA's respective focus, you'll see that these two protocols are actually quite complementary. Let me provide an example use case that shows how A to A and MCP can work together. Let's say your AI assistant is planning a trip. It doesn't do everything by itself. Instead, it talks to other agents in the system. There's one agent for checking the weather, one for booking flights, another for booking hotel, and maybe even one that checks international visa rules. Since all these agents speak A to A, they can work together easily. If you look inside of the agent checking the weather, you'll see it uses a weather API to get this information. Inside this weather agent, it uses MCP to integrate with the weather API and its supporting LLM. Here in the diagram, you can clearly see that the ADA protocol is used for communication between agents, while MCP is used by the agents themselves for integrating with tools and LLMs. So why do standards like ADA matter? Well, if the future of AI is agentic systems with teams of smart agents working together, then undoubtedly agents will be developed by different teams, companies, and vendors. This vision only works if they can communicate in a common way. A to A helps make that possible, giving us more modular and flexible AI systems that don't have to be rebuilt every time you add something new. So besides Google, who's supporting A to A? Well, there are a number of Google partners that have publicly committed to this A to A standard. Salesforce.com, Atlassian, Cohere, SAP, ServiceNow, and Langchain are a few of about 50 plus partners who have committed to adopting this standard. The test over time will be if we see more open source projects, startups, and major platforms starting to build agents that support A to A. Just like the web in the 90s needed standards like HTML and HTTP, Agents need standards like A to A to get universal adoption. Okay, let me know what you think of Google A to A. Do you think you might experiment with this new protocol when building your next agents? 
feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear what you think about this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other business playlists, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about this as well. And with that, have a great day, thanks.